Let's open. Yes. This door is open forever. Oh, uh, there's a guy behind it. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Look at that. It's Lucatiel of Murrah. Oh, cool. He's even, they even call him Lucatiel of Murrah. I totally, I totally freaking called it. I just, I just uploaded part three today. And I called her that exactly. Get off of her. She's mine. There we go. I summoned that, I summoned the uh, character that I talked to in, in the other room the other, earlier. Someone gonna attack me from this room? Oh, there is someone in here. Oh, my weapon's at risk of breaking. On the upside, I have a friend, so even if I do have to switch to a weapon I like less than this one... Wow, she's effective, isn't she? She was taking him the fuck out and hardly taking any damage back. This is new. Thanks for coming around, uh, along, Lucatio. I don't think I can say that I've ever summoned an AI. But where is this? Oh, I'm upstairs. Oh, this is the room where I died in like part two of this, or part three of the series or something, I think. Which I'm familiar with because I just uplo uploaded it today. <laughs> That's the timing of my uh, recording versus actual editing and rendering schedule. Uh, so that, so she was, so she, so she, so she, so she was, she was hanging out right behind that, uh, locked door I couldn't get behind before. But now that I'm past it, I can summon her when I'm a human, apparently. And take her onto the ghost ship, which I guess is the next target of our adventures. There's an item down there. I should check down here to figure out how to get it before I move on. Ah, uh, it's one of you assholes. Look at Teal! Solve my problems for me while I shoot fire arrows. Suck it, fire arrows. Haha. -ha. Come on, get one blow on her. Just finish it off. Thanks, thanks for the help, Lucatiel or Lusa Chial. Maybe her name's Lusa Chial. I don't know how to pronounce names. Just keep fire attacking this guy. Oh no, lock on. Okay. Accidentally did like a free aiming shot without any aiming whatsoever. Come to think of it, I think I have repair powder. Yes, I do. Use. So now is my sh is my spear repaired? My spear is almost repaired. Okay. Crisis averted. My main weapon is still usable, and it's not going nowhere. What's in here? Is nothing in here? Besides barrels. Nothing around here, I guess. I hear dogs barking, though. Who is this? Is this a player? It's a player! Hey, player, how you doing? Now I can get- now I get to have an AI and some random asshole follow me around. What could be happier? Human effigy and life gem. That's what gets happier, is- Wow! Thanks, Lucatiel, for aggroing on that, uh... Going after that guy that hadn't even gotten up yet. Fuck that guy. What'd he get for not getting up in time? Is that a path back? Oh, there's a guy down there. Oh! Get out! Get out of my game! Oh, shit. Oh, that's a cliff! He was, like, scripted as being on... He must have been scripted as being on the le... Oh, they're hanging off the ledge. But if you just knock him off, then they just... Oh. Except that time, apparently. There we go. So, <laughs> They fall like rocks through that water, don't they? So I don't see a way through these... I don't- I don't think I can open a shortcut. I guess that is a permanently blocked piece of the passage. Frito just got summoned, so now I have a friend here. Oh, who are you? You look friendly. This isn't like you- you look human, at least. Hmm. I see light, but it remains dim. I am Carillion, and I've no interest in the magic impaired. Hey, screw you, buddy. Hmm. I, I am Carillion. Oh god, what? I stopped moving for a moment and my fucking... No! Lucatiel! Lusachiel! I don't know how to pronounce your name. You got a weird looking name and it could be like an accent or something. Okay. Oh, wow. Stop to talk to one character for two seconds and everyone just fucks off and starts killing themselves. 
Fucking Frito's out here killing himself, and Lucatil. I don't even know what happened when I wasn't looking. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this, Frito. Let's take these guys out. Let's, let's be the let's be the duo of danger that they were never ready for, or whatever the fuck. I'm not good at sounding like a badass. I really like Lucatil because she's a character. She's she was no roll. She was like my first Solaire of this game, so I was really psyched to spend more time with her. I'm just really bummed out that she just suddenly died. But uh, I guess that's unfortunate, and it happens. Then Guardian Shield. Does this door open? This wheel... Does nothing. Oops, I accidentally tried to trigger my Estus Flask, which... Basically is already drained. Let's check this side of the ship. I bet you Lucretiel, when I wasn't looking, just fucking jumped off a cliff. Another- ah, oh, it's another shield. Bummer. I guess we'll continue down into the deck. Must be the next place to go. I don't see anything else up here, so... Just be careful. Don't see anyone nearby. Except shit to roll on. Can I open this? I cannot. There's nothing up here at all. Where'd- where'd Frito go? Is he just gonna chill? What are you doing, Frito? Frito? I don't see anything to lock onto. I don't think you can interact with this place. Frito! No! There's stairs! Pay attention! Man. You gonna follow me down here? The door? Frito? 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 Frito might be an idiot. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm so used to Dark Souls and Demon Souls summons being like way better at the game than I am even because they're they're all uh they've been playing the game probably since launch and I'm the random asshole that just started. These guys not so much. A lot of these guys seem to have l way less idea what to do. <laughs> is this going to be a It is a boss. Oh, what the fuck is you? Excuse me? This sounds like a great opportunity to stay all the way over fear fucking here. Frito, you aggro him and I'll keep shooting him with my bow. There we go. This is working out great for us, Frito. Just keep aggroing him. And I'll deal with this shit. Ha! Ah, son of a bitch. Damn it, Frito, don't... No! Frito, you don't get it. You have aggro. That means you stand on the opposite side from me. You don't come towards me. If you're just gonna come straight at me, then he's just gonna hit both of us. We have to kite this shit. Be smart about it. Oh god, here it comes. Ah! Uh, fuck you! Go back to the bow while you're stuck over there. Man, I feel so versatile right now. This is cool. I'm all, am I all out of arrows? I'm all out of arrows. I feel less versatile now, because I'm all out of arrows. Keep attacking while he's on Frito. Okay. Watch out. He switched he switched which side of hidden was was Ah oh, fuck. Let's uh let's heal up. Frito, we did it! Goodbye forever, Frito. You're gonna despawn now. Kill the boss. Yeah. I don't know, I like this pose. It's all dramatic and shit. Is he gone? Is he sticking around? I'm so confused. Oh there he goes. <laughs> the moment I looked away he vanished, of course. Let's see, back to one-handing one my spear. All out of arrows. Well, no I'm not. Hang on. I'm just being dumb. I for- Ah! I probably wasted those fire arrows too, actually. Yeah, I have ten more arrows to spend. Attacking things. I used up all my fire arrows because they were effective at- Oh, is that an item? No, just more soul-looking lanterns. Or blue flame lanterns, anyway. I was using fire arrows because that one thing said it, that uh, the uh, that they were strong against those weird armed guys, but uh, then I just kept using them because I forgot. And I probably wasted them on that boss. But hey, another another boss down. That's cool. If only Lucatiel was around. I'm gonna miss her. Maybe I can summon her again in the future. Pyromancy flame and fireball. I, I think that means I can cast. If I equip that, I mean that may maybe I can just start casting fireballs now. 
I heard that pyromancy is affected by miracle. You're a uh, faith now, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know much about it. Let's check out what, what this does. I'm concerned. Maybe it'll just take me to a new zone, and it won't be a big deal. And now we are in a new area? A new cove of some kind? It's interesting how much you get around in this game. Be wary of looking away. From what? Is there even anything to look away from? It's, this, this is certainly interesting to me because in, uh... In, uh, previous... In the, Soul, in the first Souls game, everything was connected. Like, aside from the Asylum and Anne Orlando, like, those were two sort of breaks where someone had to just grab you and take you somewhere else. The rest of the game was just everything being connected directly. Like, you walked directly from the Tauros Demon to the Capra Demon to Quelag and everything like that. And just took them all out. But in this game... Alright, so I... Oh, there's a elevator. Anything I can interact with here? Why am I doing that? It's not worth it. There's not an, There's clearly not an item behind it. Uh, you walked everywhere, and it was- you kept opening up new doors to everything. In this game, you teleport everywhere, which is... ...much more like Demon's Souls, where you had five separate worlds, and each of those five worlds were linear, but between those five worlds, you were just... Oh god. Okay, we're going up. For a second there, I thought it was gonna freak out and just drop me. I don't trust elevators because, uh... Dark Souls has a trap elevator. Demon Souls might have too, I don't remember anymore. But Dark Souls had an elevator where it just lifts you directly into spikes. It's like you get to the target floor and then you have to just get the fuck off or you die. Or well, maybe, maybe not die, that's dramatic. You take damage from spikes, as, as it turns out, which hurt you. <laughs> Surprise. Interesting, I'm not seeing signs left by players anywhere. Soul of a Proud Knight, Radiant Life Gem. Good for me. Alright. I am still alive. My bathroom break did not reward me with death. I was concerned that I might get invaded or something. Bonfire ahead, and then enemy ahead. Oh. The Lost Bastille. Oh. Are these doors gonna have evil behind them? As a person. Oh, that's a corpse. That is a corpse that is petrified into some sort of pose. Unlike normal corpses, which tend to fall over. None of these doors seem to open. I gotta say, I started playing uh, Shadow Tower a while back. I have like four episodes of it up. I always plan on going back to it, but keep not getting back to it. Probably because I still have Dark Souls games to do, and it's it is hard to prioritize a less good from software game when you have much better from software games to play. But it I want I keep wanting to play through more of it because of how fascinatingly odd it is. And I gotta say, I'm being reminded of it more and more by this game than any other game in the series. Check out that shadow, that pixely as fuck shadow, but still kinda nice. Nice to have some sort of lighting engine at least. Anyway, I'm going to go back to town and level up. I decided I was overdue to do a little exploring of this whole village area you start off start off in, and I found this pit here. Which I think they flat out called the pit. I think one of the NPCs called this the pit. Clearly it's an area you fall into. But maybe you need a ladder to get down at all? But there's a bunch of items on the way down, so if you can survive the fall, which I don't know if you can, because I don't have a great sense of scale of falling, there's probably a ring that decreases fall damage, but there's clearly a bunch of items on the way down. I figured I should do a little exploring to see if anyone else lives around here. 
Charmer. What charmer? I don't see a charmer. I don't see no one. Oh, it's a kitty. Oh, it's playing with the wall. Don't look at me. You can't see me. I'm not real. Go back to playing with the wall. You're so adorable. Okay, now you're... Oh, you always look that way. That wasn't even me. Oh, well. Let's talk to it. Oh. Undead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> You have, you have covenants? Oh, I can look at my covenants. I can abandon my covenant, but what? Do you have a covenant too? I don't know. Oh, you sell items. You sell rings. Ooh. Kill enemies for hit points to absorb. Reduced, oh, reduced fall damage. That's probably how you get in that hole. Found it. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes. Nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> well, that was kind of creepy. You have a nice smell and it grows nicer with each passing day. I'm a cat designed to make you feel uncomfortable. All right, restore HP. Let's replace that with the one that lets me steal HP. Where's that? There we go. And then I'll pick one of these to replace with the fall damage ring. I guess we'll do the souls one. There we go. So maybe that will make it so that I can fall down there without dying. Ring required ahead. Okay. So the votes also agree with what I'm saying. But I'm, before I continue, I'm gonna explore a little more. See if anyone else is around here worth talking to. Oh, what the fuck? They're like little zombie piggies. Do they attack? They totally attack you. Alright, let's learn about this room now. Used house key. Oh, it's the mansion! Right, I got this key from when I talked to that guy in the cave. The cartographer. This must be some of his maps, maybe? Nothing looks super usable so far. Oh, there's an item. Hurrah for item! Here! Keep hearing sounds. I guess it's the pigs outside. Oh! Pharos' lockstone! So now if I go back to that pirate cave, I can use the lockstone on whatever that thing was. Wonder if I should do that next or if I should jump in the hole next. I have so many options! I'm genuinely actually... Like... Dark Souls had some options that you could sort through a number of, you could, you, had, you could go like, I'd go kill this boss or I could go kill that boss. And like, there was like, it was often binary. Like you could, you could often do like one of two things to progress. In this game, there's so many goddamn options. It's hard to keep track of them all even. Anyone up here to attack me? 
checking outside first in case something is once is mad at me. Nothing's up here. Don't think I can jump on anything from up here. I could jump on one of those assholes down there and do a jump attack, but that's about it. Let's find out what's in this chest. Is it trapped? No trap. Titanite shard and torch. Th Whoa, three Titanite shards. Wow, so you go talk to that guy, get a key, come in this house, and you get three Titanite shards for free. That's, that's very nice. Praise the sun. People love finding moments to praise the sun, don't they? You're not creative. You're just copying the other guy. Get out of this game. Stop. Forever. Break the disc. No, don't break the disc. Give it to someone else. No one should break a Dark Souls disc. You should just give it to someone else who deserves it more. Because you're bad at jokes. You say the same things as other people and it's disappointing. Oh god, so many staircases! Where the hell am I gonna go? Was this room? Is there anything in here? People died in here. How'd they die in here? Fire? What is going on in here? How did you die? Yep. Same way that everyone seems to die. They are in the middle of a uh, Estus flask and they die. Huh. There must be some way... Does this fire do something? Clearly something attacks you in this room, but maybe... Maybe you have to unlock some ability to do something in this room. I don't see anything to interact with yet. Maybe you need a special item or you get instructions to come here later. Skeleton ahead. Oh, wow. It's a doorway. I thought it was- it looked like it was sealed. Oh, wow. That is a- that really is a straight-up skeleton, isn't it? What? Oh, Jesus. No, roll! This guy bludgeoned me through my attacks. Wait, did people just did people just aggro that guy and take him up here and die? Because that's funny, if that's what happened. There we go. Ah, I fucked that up bad. My first successful parry, and I didn't follow it up with an actual successful repost. Bummer. Oh shit, that's a Radiant Life Gem. That was a waste. I'm doing that completely wrong. Let's try this again. Let's try to get this right. Come on. Come on. Dude, rear up for a big attack. I'm waiting. What are you doing, buddy? Why are you not attacking me now? Be done? Fuck it. Go down. Oh! Holy shit! Sucker was waiting for me to attack so he could repost. You son of a bitch! <laughs> You're an asshole! Oh god damn it, I can't help it. I can't help it. Ow. Come on. Come at me. And fall over, and then power attack. Down. And then he died forever. Did I, re I don't, I didn't see my health go up. So my ring that restores, the ring that heals me when I kill us, an enemy didn't heal. Maybe it only, maybe it only happens when there are people that have life, like they're not skeletons. I wouldn't be shocked if skeletons were an exception. What's gonna be in here? Just that guy? Did all of those people get killed by that skeleton? <gasps> Estus flask shard, guys! I did. Oh shit! I'm so happy I explored this direction now. And nothing else is in here. Before I check the chest, I don't. Okay. This seems like a th something that would be a trap. Are you a death trap? Are you gonna explode on me? You're not. Okay. Soul vessel. This whole place was so worth exploring. Look at this. So many useful items. Now, now I can go back and regenerate too. And all it cost me was an accidentally used radiant life gem. Um, which is unfortunate, but okay. So I got... This is just... Yeah, that's not a usable thing, right? Yeah. So I got a soul shard, which means I, I think that means I get one additional Estus Flask, taking me to a total of three, which is very nice to have. And a soul vessel, which, if I remember correctly from when I talked to that one old lady, I think is what you use to reallocate points if you make a mistake. Don't think I need that yet, but it's good to have in case I do. You will lose everything.